And here we are looking at the roof. One minute. Beautiful ceiling of the Yogi National Stadium here in Tokyo, Japan. I'm Donald Dell in the booth with Barry McKay from the USA Cable Network back in America. And Barry McKay, this is the beautiful stadium that was built for the Olympics in 1964. And it has been quite a scene here this afternoon. 14,000 people who have come out already in their seats to watch the opening semifinal match in the 1983 Suntory Cup. The first match is a real great one. John McEnroe there of the United States Davis Cup team warming up. will be going against the Swedish world champion, Bjorn Borg. Down to Mr. McEnroe's and Barry, hand, we might add, this is Borg's last tournament competition before retirement. Well, yeah. you know, Donald, it really strikes me that this is a huge psychological play for, for McEnroe and Borg because Ladies and John Borg has retired. There you see him. I mean, this match will be the best told everybody, of three tie-break uh, sets. Again. And here he is playing against John McEnroe, McEnroe in, the in what has been a tremendous uh, competition through the last four or five years. And yet McEnroe, I think, he has all the pressure on him because he's got to beat Borg. Borg is sort of going out of the game, and John's right at the top of this game. And I think if I were McEnroe's shoes, I'd be a little bit nervous because Borg can hit from the heels, and if he loses, he's going to say, well, I was on my way out anyway. He's going to give it a sayonara play. But yep. John McEnroe out slowly. There is Mariana. Ready, who is Borg's wife, Mariana Borg, sitting in the front row. And this crowd of 14,000 people are all filled and anxious to see the last great effort by Bjorn Borg, five-time Wimbledon champion, six-time French champion, and only 26 <laughs> years of age. Back in row now, he looked back behind the court, Donald, there, and he saw a spectator sort of scurrying to his seat. He did a little mimic plan. John seems pretty loose and relaxed here right before this match gets underway. <laughs> First game of the match, McEnroe to serve. Semifinals of the 1983 Suntory Cup. Oh. And you saw there how quickly McEnroe closes. Barry, we're playing on a Uniturf court indoors, and as you said at the opening of the show, John McEnroe may be the best indoor player in the world. Let's watch. Fault call. Court just laid out for singles, Donald. We can talk about that later, but I think that makes for an interesting play on both players' part. There is no doubles here, Barry, as you know. It's just a singles competition. Ooh. And slips That's over good. the net and over McEnroe's racket. So Borg, the sentimental favor here in Tokyo, evens it at 15 all. First game of the match. And remember, Barry, last year, Bjorn Borg won this title, beating Vincent Van Patten, who had upset John McEnroe. Well, I love Van Patten over here, Donald. I thought John, on that last point, looked a little bit slow. The ball hit the top of the net. I think he could have gotten it had he been a little bit more warmed up. What? Tried that wide one again. Rather slowly here. He looks a little bit sluggish. It's tough to come out, play a singles match right off the bat. If you haven't been out warming up right before, I noticed Johan Creek was having a good warm-up, Donald, right before these players started. They all have been here for two or three days practicing on this indoor surface. Hard to believe that the great one, Bjorn Borg, at only 26, will be playing his last match here in Tokyo. It's $110,000 to the first prize winner here in the 1983 Suntory Cup. McEnroe now, every time in that deuce court, has tried to serve out wide to Borg's forehand, has yet to go down the center. Oh. 14, 13. Familiar name and voice in the chair, Frank Hammond. Who was here last year, Donald. This is one of his favorite stops. They brought Frank over from New York City, where he has been the official here in the Suntory Cup the past three years. And the players like that because he takes control of the matches. Very knowledgeable, very experienced. McEnroe, 40-30, opening game. Game McEnroe. And so John McEnroe's out very quickly. 
and Perfect opens up match. with a one love lead. Stay tuned for more tennis after our messages from our local systems on the USA Cable Network. And Bjorn Borg out quickly, wants to start the second game. He's in a hurry. Good forehand down the line there by McEnroe. Deceptive shot, Donald. McEnroe lines up, and it's very difficult to pick which side he's going to hit that forehand to. He disguises it very well. So Borg electing to stay on the baseline has missed two and trails Love 30. He doesn't look quite as lean and trim as Bjorn Borg of Oldbury. It seems like he's four or five pounds heavier. I'm going to be interested to see what happens to him as an athlete and as a person not playing tennis all the time like he has virtually all of his life. Ooh, ah, just called. wide. Just wide. 15, 13. McEnroe not happy with that call. He thought he had a winner. It was wide. Remember, John McEnroe has never won this event. He's been in the finals twice, 1980, 1981, and has failed to win the Suntory Cup. So he'd like to do it this year. But he's got to beat Borg and then the winner of the Connors Creek match, which will be later this afternoon. Fantastic tennis today from Tokyo. Stay with us. Ooh, McEnroe went for the winner. 30 all. And this court, Donald, is playing fairly slowly. The guys are going to have trouble coming in behind the ball because it's a uniturf surface, and the ball will sit up quite a bit. Difficult to sort of hit that ball with a slice and come in because it will sit up. McEnroe has made his third backhand error on these exchanges now. And Borg's out of a hole here. He's at 40-30. He was down love 30. But now it, he leads 40-30. Second game. You see McEnroe moving well in inside the baseline. But now trapped again in that backcourt. Oh, game board. What a shot by the great one, Borg, around the net post there with that hooked forehand. I Barry hit that so easily, didn't he? Beautiful oh. shot. A lot of control, Donald, because that was not an easy shot. The net's six inches higher there on that sideline. He wrapped it around, hit a lot of topspin on the ball, brought it just into the corner. Tremendous.